Hey everyone, this is video number three of the Factory Talk series, and we're going to show you how to set up a few objects um, that correspond to our PLC program. And if you remember from the other videos, I have a program that is already made. I'm going to go ahead and put it in run mode, and here's my program. So we have a few things that we're going to be using on our Factory Talk View touchscreen, which is the Panel View 1000. We have a stop, a start, and we have several lights over here. So I'm going to go to my Factory Talk program, and it is right here. And I'm going to show you how to set up a push button to begin with. So we go right up here to Objects. And we can go down and you see push button right there. I'm going to select a momentary. And now that you can see that my mouse has it on there, I just have to put it where I want to put it. And we pull up the properties box. Uh, you can make a lot of changes right here. Uh, for instance, uh, I may want my push button to be a circle. I can change it right there. And we have to select whether we want it to be normally open or normally closed. So if I'm going to make a stop button, it is usually a normally closed. I'm going to set that there. Now we go to the states. We have state 0 and state 1. As you know from the PLC, a 0 is an off and a 1 is on. So uh, in our 0 state, I want to... Since it's normally closed, we have a 1 for a value. In state 1, we have a 0 for a value. So when it is not pressed, we are getting a 1 because it is a normally closed. I'm going to change my back color to red. I'm going to give it a caption. And down here, you can change your caption color. You can change a lot of different things. This right here, you're just going to have to play with. That's going to give you your personal preferences on things. Now, in state one, uh, I may want it to be a different color other than red so I can see the difference of when it is in the state of zero or one. So I'm going to make it this color right here. And I'm also going to put the caption in again. And this time I just put the word stop off in there. Now the next thing that we're going to do, right here in the common, this is the size and the width and the positioning of it. You can use this if you have to put multiple buttons on the screen and you want them to be all the same size and possible locations or offset them. Then we go to connections. This is where we're actually setting up the connection from the factory talk view. Uh, we've already set up that connection, but this is where we're making our bringing our tags over. So I just go here to tag and I want to refresh all folders. And you'll see right there the FTIP. That was the shortcut that I set up earlier. I'm going to click on the plus sign. You see the online. Just click on the folder. You don't have to open it up from here. And you'll see that it brought over all of my tags. All right, so here's all of my tags. And I said it was going to be the stop button. So all I have to do is click on it. You'll see that it put it in right down here. Now... And I click OK. You'll see it pops up right here. Hit Apply. And OK. Uh, it's currently showing it in the stop off position. And that's fine. It'll do that because that was the last thing that I selected. Now, if I want, I can go back into the properties. Go to my state. Go to state 0.
in there. You see that it actually made it look a little bit different. It was still going to function the same, but this way you can see it. Uh, if I want to create another object, in this case, another push button, I can do it like that, or you can select this one and I can copy it and paste it. Now, by doing that, I can open up my, you see that mine are exactly the same size. I open up my property box and I need to change all the things that need to be changed along with this. So in this case, this is my start button. It's going to be a normally open. And you'll see my states are different here. My general value for state 0 is 0, and state 1 is a 1. I can go in here and change my colors. Uh, if this is a 0, I'm going to make it a dark green. Caption color is probably fine. When it's on, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make it a brighter green color, and then I need to go to. You'll see that my height and my width are exactly the same. My positioning is pretty similar and if you the if they're not showing up here remember always hit refresh all folders I'm gonna hit start put the tag in hit apply click OK and you'll see that there is my button now we also have a bunch of multi-state indicators right over here so I'm going back to my factory talk program I'm gonna to go to objects and there are other ways of doing this this is just one of the ways that I like to do it here's my indicator multi-state and I'm going to go ahead and make mine a circle because my real world lights are circular. And you see here we have multi states, different states that we want to make the indicator. The only ones that we're really going to focus on are the zero and the one. And I'm going to make this one green light off. I'm going to make it a gray color. Uh, then I'm going to select my state one. Green light on. And I'm going to make it a bright green, uh, bright green color. I'm going to change my border to a black okay then I'm gonna to go to my connections and I'm going to select my green light you'll see it put the tag in right down here when I click OK it now adds the tag right over here for my connection hit apply click OK um, now again, you can uh, go up here and grab your mouse back, and you can click on it. You can copy and paste it. Set them wherever you want, and then you can go back and make your changes. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And I'm going to fix these up, and then I'll be right back. 
All right, so I went ahead and created all of my buttons. And you can see here that they are in there. I do not have them perfectly aligned. So I'm going to show you a quick way of aligning them. If I click on this one right here and I go to common, you can see uh, the positioning of the button. And if I want to get them quickly aligned, um, you can see that it's this one here, 358 from the left. I can actually click on this and drag it over, but sometimes it gets hard to get them aligned. So if I go to the properties, if I go to the properties and I go to common, I can just change this number, apply, click OK and it got it in a good straight line. Same with this one right here. And this is just one way of doing it. There are several other ways of doing some of this, these things. So uh, I think if you're doing this, you should try some different things, see what works best for you. Um, again, this is just one way of doing it. So this is gonna end this video. We will make uh, a few more uh, working with the animations of objects uh, and also do some on the motion. And we will be back with more videos.